just hold them. Oh, are you sure? Oh, we need to make this look good for art. That's right. We need all the flags we can get. There you go. So everybody, thank you so much for coming today. This is, you know, it's been horrible weather all week long. And the skies have just opened up for Mr. Haley. It's just, it's incredible. The sun is shining down on us today. And uh, I can't thank you enough for being here. Um, you know, one, one of the best things about, about being mayor is I get to meet some amazing people and really get to know them that I might otherwise not have that opportunity. And, and Art was one of those people. And I think, I'm, I was trying to think of the first time I met Art, and I think it was at a Legion event. And of course, I wouldn't be invited to all kinds of Legion events if I wasn't the mayor. So um, I was so lucky to have met him, and I guess going back seven years, and he was in his uh, mid-late 90s, I guess. And I was so taken with how much, uh, how much life that guy had in him, and he was smiling all the time and happy and, and uh, loved to tell his stories. And, and he was you know, so decorated, and we were so proud of him. And he was really proud of what he's done in his life too. And uh, it, it was just a pleasure to get to know Art. And one of the things that I really wanted to do was make him a part of our shadow cabinet for our Wart and Willie Festival. And, and I don't know if everybody remembers seeing Art there, but we created, we created a cabinet position for him because we have all the ministers. We have the minister of uh, what is it? Hogwash, which I think is Mr. Walker there. <laughs> then we had the Minister of Buttons and Bows, which I think was Larry Miller. We did that to him deliberately. And now uh, Alex has, has adopted that one, so he's now the Minister of Buttons and Bows. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hot air and hogwash. That's what it is, eh, Bill? Hot air and hogwash. So, so anyway, um, I wanted, I thought it would be really nice to have a centurion uh, because we also had the Minister of Youthful Affairs, which is uh, a, young, a young lad or, or lady from, from the, uh, the high school. And so I thought it would be great to have a, a minister uh, representing our centurions and our seniors. And so of course, you know, Art was, you know, I ha always had Art in mind anyway for that one. And, and he very graciously accepted it. And so we named him the Minister of Ancient History. <laughs> We thought it was really appropriate, and he was so great. I mean, he went and had his tuxedo fitted for him, and, and he came to the events, and and uh, and he showed up. I don't know how uh, Jeanette got him up at 5:30 in the morning <laughs> to be there. Um, I've had a heck of a time getting any centurion since Arthur, because nobody will wake up that early in the morning. But he came, and uh, he was all bundled up, and he sat on the stage. We got a chair for him, and, and he was just <clears throat> fantastic. He just was so wonderful, and, and I was just so proud of him and happy to have him there. But uh, anyway, uh, fast forward, um, unfortunately, with COVID, um, when Art passed, his funeral was a private funeral. It couldn't have been a public funeral, which was, was really unfortunate. Um, but. Kate Gilbert and I were sitting down one day having dinner and we were talking about art and what we could do to honor him. And, uh, and the idea of, of an honorary street naming came up. And we've never ever done that here in South Bruce Peninsula. And I just thought, you know, that's, that's a perfect way to honor art because he lived most of his life right here on the street, just a couple of doors up. And uh, I went back to our public works director and she had never heard of that before. She, she looked at me like I had two heads. And I said, you know, Google it. There's other cities and towns that have honorary street naming. And so uh, she ordered the, the, the signs right away. And we planned on doing this last year, but the weather didn't, uh, didn't cooperate with us. So here we are today. And, and I can't thank you enough for being here. And the, the Mc, McLaren pipe and drums are in, and the Legion colors, like everybody is here. Um, I'm going to Councillor Durst and Councillor Terry Bell are both here today as well. And I'm going to uh, introduce and ask MPP Bill Walker and, and our freshly re-elected MP, Alex Ruff, to come up and speak. Um, and then uh, we have some members of Art's family. I think Kathy uh, would like to speak. So we'll do that. Um, so first, Mr. Walker, would you like to come on up here?
Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, I truly am humbled, and frankly, I'm here more as a friend than I am as a member of Parliament. Uh, I, like you, have known Art for a long, long time, and he is just one of the people that inspired me continually. Uh, his energy, his love, and his passion for his community and every single thing that he did. So I do think it's very appropriate to do this. He truly was a trendsetter in many ways. Uh, you know, first and foremost, a decorated and revered veteran, a lifelong member of the Legion, a long-standing and well-respected member of the Masonic Lodge, a uh, citizen of the year for the town of, I believe, Wyerton or South Bridge Peninsula. I can't remember how far back that one went. Uh, you know, and he was involved in almost any and every charity that you could ever think of. And he, again, you know, it's interesting, I, I think somebody a little while ago coined me as the Energizer Bunny, but really, Art was the Energizer Bunny, and he had 40 or 50 years on me when he was still the Energizer Bunny. So on behalf of, of my role and my official role as a member of Provincial Parliament, it's truly an honor to be part of something like this, and I wouldn't have missed it for the world because Art has done so much. He is truly the epitome of someone who gave his life to his country, to his community, certainly to his family. And without a shadow of a doubt, I have to put Wyerton Willie in there. He is someone that we should all aspire to be like. Someone who cared, who gave of himself endlessly, and to his family and all of his friends. Art, we're here with you today, and every day that we look at that sign, we'll remember you fondly. Thank you so much, Your Worship. Thank you, Bill. So Alex, have you got two seconds to come on up here and say a few words? Thank you so much for coming on a Sunday. Really appreciate it. So unfortunately, I didn't know Art as much as uh, likely many of you did and as much as the, Your Worship and uh, Bill, our MPP, knew him. Uh, but he was unforgettable. I met him for the first time a couple years ago. He was wearing his crown when I saw him. Uh, but he was truly an ambassador for Wyerton, for South Bruce Peninsula, and for Canada. Uh, you know, he served in the Second World War. He received the Minister of uh, Veterans Affairs commendation. Lifelong member of the Legion. He just cared deeply. And really what impressed me the most, reading a bit about him today, uh, as well, is just how much he was involved with their schools, with educating our youth and making a difference to ensure that people understood where we came from and just how you can serve our community. So I just want to thank everyone for coming out today. Uh, absolutely beautiful day for this. And Bill reminded me yesterday it's a federal responsibility, the weather, so I will take credit for the nice weather today. Um, but really, I just want to thank everybody and, and thank Art. This is a truly great way to represent him and to commemorate him. And, uh, you know, he's somebody that I'll never forget, even though I didn't get to know him that long. Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you, Alex. So, Kathy, Art's daughter, Kathy, would like to come up and say a few words. Oh, granddaughter. Look at that. And he had great-grandchildren, too. Yeah. Great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great
garage and auction sales aided his love of a deal and hunt for a treasure. Many treasures often gifted to others. St. John's United Church provided delicious meals shared, music enjoyed, and faith supported. Despite his love of banana splits, Timmy's broccoli soup, and Purple Valley fish fries, he stayed fit, enjoying the wide open spaces as evidenced by games of baseball, horseshoes, or speed walking about town. The Masons presented many occasions for honing Grandpa's leadership skills. The comradeship at the Royal Canadian Legion offered the challenge of sharing the importance of Remembrance Day with the local children. Wyerton also gave him Wyerton Willie and bragging rights about living in the same town as Canada's famous groundhog. And let us not forget that Wyerton Public School and Peninsula Shores District School afforded an outlet for Grandpa's love of children and teaching. Children motivated him. Where better to practice his quest for the perfect paper airplane than by having the children make and fly the planes with him? I would like to share one of Grandpa's poems that I believe highlights his interpretation of life. It's entitled, Please Take Time. Take time to be loving to those growing old, for love is more precious than silver or gold. Take time to be happy. Go around with a smile. You'll find it contagious, and it's always in style. Take time with your loved ones. Keep them close to your heart, for there is no way of telling when from this life they'll depart. Take time to just listen, for music has charm, and nature's spring melody is the best waking alarm. Take time for more knowledge, read many more books. You should never stop learning. It's not as hard as it looks. Take time for the beauty Mother Nature presents. Every day the stage changes as God gives his consent. Take time to love someone with all of your heart, then together you will travel and never be far apart. Take time, smell the roses, for you can't when you're dead. Enjoy the perfume arising from each lovely flower bed. Take time to have dreams, but set your sights on a goal, for success comes to the actors who play the best role. Take time to discover the secret of life, the miracle of birth, the end of a life. Take time to welcome everyone to your home, be it a castle or a cottage, there is no place like home. We thank this wonderful town filled with exceptional people for welcoming Art in Alberta with open arms and for all the support and kindness that you showed to them. They truly loved Wyerton. And Grandpa would have been thrilled with today's festivities. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kathy. I think you would have loved it too. So right now what we're going to do is, uh, it's unfortunate the street signs are all on the other side of the street and we couldn't close Claude obviously because it's a bypass right now. So we're going to go over and we're going to unveil and, uh, and then from there the uh, pipe and drums, the wired pipe and drum is going to march the Haley family to the Legion where they're going to have a, a gathering there and another dedication. And, uh, and unfortunately, with COVID restrictions, we would love to have everybody there, but, uh, um, but we're, we're restricted once again. But I cannot thank you enough uh, for joining us today. It was such an important day for Wyerton, for the town of South Bruce Peninsula, and for the Haley family. So thank you so much for being here. We're going to go over and unveil this now. Here we go. Give it up, Oak. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he?